Okay, you're in Google Forms and you want to use the grid questions. You've got two grid questions that you can select from. One is a multiple choice grid, which I'm using here. With a multiple choice grid, you can only select one option in each row. And then you've got the tick box grid, which allows you to select more than one option in each row. So let's see how this can be done. So I'm going to start by adding a new question and I'm going to make this a multi-choice grid question. And the question is your overall experience of the hotel. Now this is a fairly simple idea. With a grid, you obviously have rows and columns. So what items do you want to appear down the side of the grid? And what items do you want to appear across the top of the grid? So down the side, I'm going to ask them to give feedback on the room, the reception, the website, meals and drinks, and the grounds. And then across the top, I'm going to give the rating. So it's going to start with excellent and then good and then neutral, room for improvement, and then poor. I'll also have not applicable. So that would be my multi-choice grid. And for a multi-choice grid, the person filling in the form is only going to be able to select one of these ratings. So let's see how that works. If I go to this preview button, here we have the things that we're asking the form filler to rate down the side. And here are my ratings across the top. I can go in and I can only select one item on each row. Okay, so let's look at the tick box grid. I'll add another question. Which meals did you have at the hotel? And this question is going to be a tick box grid. So it's the same idea really as your multi-choice grid. You've got headings down the side and headings across the top. So my headings down the side are going to be the days of the week. And then across the top, I'm going to ask them if they have breakfast, lunch, and or dinner. And so if I preview that grid, you'll see that I can tick more than one option in each of the rows. Okay, that's all I wanted to cover in this particular video. Hopefully that's useful. If it is, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe and I'll see you next video.